Okay, this is going to be quick and dirty, a lot of pauses, uh, 2011 Windrider, completely modified, and uh, start with a, a new uh, tongue jack, spare tire, winch, Port armor, scratching, put a cleave there. Had a plug that I uh, epoxied over. It's the steering system. mast cradle integrated into the wooden walkaway motor mount starboard ama similar plug epoxied over scratches Armor attachments. This is the front starboard armor attachment, and then the front starboard linear actuator oh, has these uh, portholes here. Starboard rear. All my attachment. And the linear actuator there. Um, let's see from the cockpit here, we got the uh, steering line, which goes all the way around the boat. Anchor set up. It's the uh, self tacking jib uh, line and the uh, furling. This is the rocker switches for the port and starboard. And both out, you'll see the pushes the uh, um, out all the way and we'll eventually stop and then to bring them in push them both in and it brings them brings them in okay pause gin pole which attaches to the furling system, which uh, on up to the t uh, mast connection there. And this comes down and connects through, normally it, will, it would connect through the block and tackle and eventually cinch to the boat. I've got it on the trailer now, just because I'm working on it. But it's the ball and socket joint for the, uh, for the mast. And uh, okay. Um, I did uh, drill holes along the front for a, a separate project that I had uh, a trampoline that went across. But uh, I can fill those in with epoxy if needed. See a close up of the linear actuator. You probably can see the brand and stuff. The tire, the wheel.
notice the uh, extension of the mast in order to allow the sail to be raised higher than stock to get it up off the head so the boom doesn't uh, hit you as much. 